Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check something unusual. It comes from recent E-Day uh, model exhibition. As you can see that's an admission kit which you usually get when you buy an entrance uh, ticket or you participate in exhibition. It is always one of the main questions what will be the admission kit. And here you can see this year's, um, let's say, choice which was given out. It was given out uh, together with some other kits in 144 scale but those ones are not as interesting as uh, what you can see here. So this is a P51D30 and T in 144 scale. It is completely new tooled kit from Edward and now we have a chance to check it closer. So first of all packaging here is typical for kits, I mean admission kits from this manufacturer. As you can see this is a simple plastic bag. There is no card board inside even so be careful while I mean ordering this kit from somebody and now we are going to open it it's a resealable plastic bag as you can see and inside there should be several interesting bonuses so first of all we have uh, sprues packed into the separate plastic bag so again I need a moment to open them but I mean it was just a question of time when uh, Edward will reduce their uh, Mustang into smaller scale. Obviously there will be also 172nd scale release but not that soon. But 144 is already available and out so at least we have it um, to assemble if you want to build something small and fresh from Edward. So here you can see a one and only plastic sprue obviously because of the scale we do not have any other additional sprues because all parts just fit here. As you can see we have a porous division I would say more or less similar to what we saw on the bigger brother and that is quite surprising because in 144 scale you usually expect something simple but here we have two fuselage halves molded together with tail segment and rudder. Note that cooling section or top cooling cover is molded uh, together with those parts so you will have to be careful while working with them and joining them. Here you can see wing parts, again parts division mimics of what we can see in 172nd scale kit so it means one piece lower half and two top halves. Um, of course ailerons and flaps are promoted it would be strange and quite surprising to see them separate in 144 scale but I have no doubt that we'll see it uh, released separately in let's say form of P set. Why I'm a bit confused because here we can see the logo it's B Ego so I'm not sure if that is actually the uh, original Edward release. Just give me a second I'll check it on Scalemates because usually Scalemates have this info available. In the meantime I can say that uh, this kit was freely available even after the exhibition so we can expect that it will come as um, let's say um, resale on official Edward website and I can see that this plastic is actually not from Edward it is from Platts so it is not completely new tool it came out in 2005 which is mm, 14 years ago so you can imagine the quality but I mean still quality looks quite impressive I would say especially for 144 scale there are no simplifications no any other possible uh, I would say issues with smaller size everything is replicated as much as possible and here for example you can see landing gear OX molded together with main wheels we can zoom in even more so that you can see them closer and if we flip over this sprue here inside you can notice that we have guiding pins for fuselage halves which is also quite cool it should help you with alignment and the same can be said about those wing ports as you can see here so again quite a nice feature here by the way in fuel tanks we have it as well but note that on propeller blades there is a small amount of flesh or plastic flesh which can be easily cleaned with sharp knife it's just so that you know what is here. Cockpit should be pretty much detailed as well because here for example we have the radio station which is visible through the canopy here we have pilot seat I do not see dashboard so I guess it won't be visible on the finished model or maybe manufacturer decided to omit it. But external detailing is quite typical we have recessed panel lines and also maybe riveting in necessary places so with some careful painting you will get really nice result. Just try not to overdo it because these panel lines um, are quite I would say not that deep 
so it is easy to use them under several layers of paint or primer if you apply them on this kit. Next we have another plastic bag, here it is. This one is dedicated to clear sprue. So just give me a second to open it. Straight away you can see that we have two canopies here. I am not sure why it is like this. Maybe because of the um, version choice. So it depends on the which option you choose to copy. But there should be only one marking option um, available in this kit because it is typical for um, admission kits. Here you can see this clear sprue. Obviously canopy is molded as a one piece part. Let's try to zoom Make sure to focus camera like this. So one piece part, you won't be able to open the cockpit on this model, so be ready for this. And of course masks are not included as far as you can see. Just let me check. Yes, there are no masks inside, so you have to deal it with your own hands. Or maybe we can hope that Edward will release the separate mask set for this plastic and we will be able to cover it without wasting time while trying to cut all these masks. If you would like to have a two-piece canopy, you have to find the VQ um, canopy parts, which are not that easy to work, so if you do not have experience or necessary experience, I would not recommend to resort for this option, because it is not that easy, let's say. Next, we have the cows sheet. So this one is printed in Edward. And frankly speaking, I wonder if it is already using the new technology for the decals. As far as I remember, they promised that it will be in the profit pack release of the Mustang in 148 scale, so we'll check it a bit later. But here you can see decals for this small kit. As you can see, there are also decals for the cockpit. For example, here we have seat belts and even anti-slip areas and those invasion stripes they are present here so you can just apply decals and be good to go it will be up to you how you want to replicate them but keep in mind that they are included here and for example note that this rudder decal is molded or printed together with the number so basically it's one whole section which you apply on the rudder maybe it will make application easier maybe it will complicate it we will see uh, during the build if we are um, if we will have the time to build it. Here you can see the SD cows closer. Printing quality is quite nice and once again I'll repeat myself that I'm not sure if it was printed with new technology which was promised by Edward uh, to be available in autumn 2019. Next we have assembly manual. So here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So, assembly process should be pretty much straightforward, I would say. Here, for example, you can see the decals application on the pilot seat. Then we continue with fuselage assembly. Here, for example, you install the special um, plane port for the air intake. Here we install radio station. As you can see, there is no cockpit floor in the fuselage halves. Uh, there is just a sim simple plane part which will replicate a cockpit floor. Of course, don't forget to paint the cockpit um, shade here because it will be visible. Here we work on the wing port, so again pretty much easy process. Then of course we join everything together and as you remember we have separate air actually propeller blades so be careful with them in order to get the right alignment. Here we attach the landing gear doors to the uh, landing gear legs. Then all this stuff get installed on the aircraft and as you can see the air, air intake frontal section is molded separately so that at least here you won't have any seams visible. Then next we install the canopy. Uh, propeller should not be glued so keep it in mind. Here we have small um, guide on the right alignment of the landing gear legs and last but not the least is color printed marking guide. So here we have the marking option which was available on E-Day. Um, this aircraft was standing on the um, airfield close to the exhibition place. As you can see it is even written that whole marking option is written in Czech. But you can, I can translate it that it's September 2019, close to the uh, Lisa Nadal album. Of course, paint numbers are given in Gunze designations. As you can see, it, it copies the so-called Excalibur uh, Mustang. So it might be a nice looking build in 144 scale. And once again, I'm not sure if this kit will be available through the 
official Edward website, but if you consider how it was with previous releases, we can expect it in the next month. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel somewhere here. And uh, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!